Hello, Meta. I am pretty sure this is the first post that appeared on your feed a few hours ago. If not, you surely heard a lot about Meta in the past few hours. It's all over the news. Well, in the case you missed it, as well as the Facebook Live of the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, this is what you should know. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. So, Meta is simply the new name of the Facebook company. That means the name of the different apps owned by the company like Facebook, Instagram, Messenger and so on will remain the same. Mark Zuckerberg made this change to foreground his vision for what he calls the Metaverse a 3D virtual reality space for people to interact outside the real world and improve their virtual experiences. Now, let's just take a look at what we should expect from Meta. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. All right, perfect. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? Very nice, isn't it? Now, take a look at this one. So, we're gonna have an astrophysicist in the family. Actually, I have to write this paper. Will you help me? Let's take a closer look. What part of the solar system are we talking about? Saturn. If you were taking astrophysics, you could study in the metaverse. Did you know the rings are made up of billions of icy particles? Really? Look at this. You're ready to do that paper now, right? Yeah. Amazing, right? What about this? Looking good. Let's get together real quick for a debrief. I'm free now. Let's jump in. Hi. Hey. So what do we think? I think it's ready. Great. I'll prep it for the presentation. All right, good luck. We can tell from these three examples that the metaverse is quite promising. Now the question is, how researchers and entrepreneurs can take advantage of this upcoming revolution? I mean, considering that meta will bring about new technologies like AR, VR, holograms, etc. Let's start with some opportunities for researchers. Neuroscientists could be interested to know the long-term impact of such technologies on the brain. It makes sense, right? Then, from the sociological point of view, the use of these technologies as a tool to control the people sounds like a legitimate question to be investigated. As for artificial intelligence, there is a perpetual demand for optimization. Even more, it will be interesting to see how these technologies can be integrated and applied to other fields. For entrepreneurs, there are plenty of opportunities as well, ranging from developing games based on AR, VR and holograms, developing accessories and or software to host the aforementioned technologies. You can also think of developing startups that focus on holograms and the integration to telecom and social media. In addition to what I've just mentioned, Meta offers up to $10,000 in cash prizes for winners of some sort of creators' competitions. I've provided the registration link in the description. If you need an additional motivation, 
I think you should listen to this. I tried to look at what factors actually accounted the most for success and failure across all these companies, and the results really surprised me. The number one thing was timing. Now you have no excuses. Just go for it. Wish you good luck.